And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Trundle. We're going to be bringing the spice with this deck. We're going to be playing a, <laughs> we're going to be playing a couple of cards that I have never ever played before. One drop. We got Star Shepherd. Whenever we heal a damaged a damaged ally, grant me plus two plus zero. That does count like regeneration. Whenever we have things regenerate, that is healing. So that's going to be granting Star Shepherd plus two plus zero each time we do that. And so we're going to be playing like Trundle that has regeneration. We're going to have Augur of the Old Ones that can um, grant overwhelm and regeneration. But we need to be holding a plus cost card, and we got some. And the new one that we have is now buffed up Grandfather Rumel. I, I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it. Hopefully it is. Rumel. But it's an 8-4 where you get to play. And now we get to grant two allies plus zero plus four. It used to only be one ally. Now it's two allies. So I think this could work really well with Trundle, where we can ha play Trundle on turn five, right? You know, like we play Trundle, and then we play our Ice Pillar, and then we can have our room will come down right after the Ice Pillar refills our mana, and we can give the Trundle plus zero plus four and the Ice Pillar plus zero plus four, you know, or just other stuff too, if we got other cool things in play, like Taric or anything. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So then we'll have... Um, we're going to try to have, like, Trundle basically be impossible to kill. We'll uh, have Bastion, new Bastion with Trundle, <laughs> be able to give Trundle plus one, plus one, and permanent spell shield. That seems pretty silly. Also, uh, of course, whenever Trundle levels up, has that Overwhelm. We're going to have Battle Fury to go along with our Overwhelm units with Zenith Blade Overwhelming. Uh, we could have double Battle Fury if we have Taric <laughs> and... And we transfer Battle Fury over. That could be crazy. And then, of course, we got Infinite Mind Splitters is another uh, eight plus cost card. All right, so uh, Starlet Seer buffing up stuff as well. Um, yeah, this looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and play. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Bring in the spice. That's right. We're gonna be playing Grandfather Rumul in Masters rank. Let's see if we can bring some meme tier cards over to Masters. Star Shepherd also. Hey, we got a kind of mirror match with uh, Trundle and Sejuani. That's what our opponent's doing. I guess Infinite Mind Splitter. That card is going to be awesome. Maybe I just keep it. Maybe I just keep. Okay, maybe we get rid of Hush. Oh no! Punished immediately, drawing another one. So we're going to have two eight mana cards in the opener. Ugh. All right, Starlet's here. Do some stuff. I like that we have the attack token on turn four. I like that. Okay, we got <laughs> four of our five eight drops. Or no, we have six eight drops, I guess, in our deck. Four of the six eight drops. Beauty and life. Just draw an eight drops. So I'm not drawing another Zenith Blade, but we are casting, we are able to cast two Zenith Blades here. To protect all unyielding. This will be a good winter. So I got two uh, Starlet Seer triggers in there. Ooh. A 3-3 Mentor this down. That could be cool. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could. Do you think they're playing Frostbite cards? Like, do you think they have Harsh Winds? I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. Battle Fury. An auspicious season. I mean, how how often do we get double Battle Fury on some overwhelmed things? <laughs> this could be sweet. Let's go. No, hush. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Come on. <laughs> hush isn't fun. That's that's, that's way worse than harsh winds. Boo. 
Boo opponent. Hush. They should be ashamed. Pain is nothing. These are trolls. Hmm. Born for conquest. It's a big responsibility to shepherd stars. Okay, we got Star Shepherd. So let's see. Let's start with the Ice Pillar to level up our Trundle. So now it has Overwhelm also. I think we're going to behold an 8 plus cost card or two. Uh, let's see, how many do we have? Like one, um, is there another one in here? Uh, yeah, <laughs> two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have five eight plus cost cards, so it's gonna get just the plus five plus zero automatically. Okay, sorry about that. So they can still cast a couple hush, which they're gonna have to. Uh, do I... I kind of want to play Grandfather Rumul. Kind of want to play Grandfather Rumul. Lost in reflection. Yeah, obviously I'm going to. I should, right? Yeah, we, we just should. You returned and brought me a stick. It's a good stick. How often do we actually get to play Grandfather Rumul? We need to do it while we can. Winter, take you. You think they're only playing one hush? Well, I guess we will see. Let's go, Osu. To protect all. I guess we just put it on this thing. I guess we'll see if they have another hush or not. Hopefully not. Only a 3-2 now? They look angry. Rough. Protect. Alright, so I do have another Tarek. Um, but we're going to want to be playing these Infinite Mind Splitters, of course. Three, four, five. So five cards in hand. We know they have at least one card here. All they'd have to do is behold one more eight plus cost card for their trundle to kill my trundle. I do not want that to happen. Um, this would make it so they need two. Because like I want to play Infinite Mind Splitter also, but do do we have to play this other? Um, yeah, this other gem here as well. Come on, come on! No, I'm gonna hopefully just... Hopefully it's just these two. Um, is it possible they don't attack? Is that possible? Probably not. I'll knock him dead. No. Okay, maybe they won't be able to kill it. All right, looks like they won't be able to kill it. That's good. Oh, that's true. I did pass because I played. I did. I did play the burst card, so I could just pass with playing that burst card. That's true. That's right. I did have the burst pass available. And I thought I was 
was a troll. Maybe they're gonna pass. No attacks. Bow to your king. So you're saying the stock list for this only plays one hush? Makes sense to play a second hush these days with, with all these lease index and buff decks and stuff. Probably need to play more hush. It's pretty unlikely they have a third though, right? Why did they even have their ice pillar? Like they just wanted their ice pillar to die, I guess. Okay, they're gonna just do that anyway. We look after our own. This is gonna be fun. Uh, we have. I'm ready to shine. Eric Overwhelm. Taric attacking cannot die while it's attacking. Look at our one drop go. A true Fragnorian welcome. Never submit. Stay back. Oh, don't tell me they have the third hush. No, if they had third hush, they'd have the nine nine B blocking. This is a high IQ game with all these mind splitters. There's a lot of mind around here. Splitting lots of minds. They walked around. Okay, they're down to five. Wow. We're all family here. I guess that's lethal, huh? I guess I need to play my Mind Splitter instead. Crazy. Crazy, yeah, I guess it's lethal. I didn't play around their second Mind Splitter. I should have played my second mi Mind Splitter, I guess. Should have just done that. So we lost the mirror match. Oh, their deck's called Mind Splitter Control. Like that's their whole plan is just Mind Splitters. Oh well, then yeah, I, sh I should have played around that. My bad. Um, do I want any of these? We could have the Augur of the Old Ones and the Battle Fury. Probably just gets hushed again. <laughs> Let's just mulligan these. See what else we get. Okay, we got double Grandfather Rumble this time. So that's good. Last time we only had one and we lost. We had to have two. Strawman, did we just play against you? Because, yeah, we're basically doing the same kind of thing. My my hand I had two more infinite mind splitters in hand and so okay yeah I had two infinite I had, I had two more infinite mind splitters in hand and that's what I should have done also is just played one instead of playing that that Taric whenever I did and stuff. Looking into the future I see purple. GG's. I'm not playing against Leeson. Everybody was saying that Leeson Z was everywhere. I've only played against it one time today. In all of my games I'm not playing against it. Derek's not really doing anything right now. Don't worry. I am here. Still gonna I'm play it. Panicking. You're panicking. I may not even attack. What did 
Yep, not attacking. Trundle's good. I wish we had one. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. A little the old faces of the old one avalanche deck. Alright, just making sure that I don't have 10 cards in hand. One thing I want to do. Something for my hunting party. Dang. It's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel better when you feel better. We're all family here. We look after our own. Like I could level up Tarek. Lost in reflection. But not like <clears throat> like before attacks. Yeah, I think we do. But like so like they're not gonna be in indestructible. Because it, it levels up here. I could keep the Frostbite available and not play that plus three, plus three. I'm gonna play the plus three, plus three. Hopefully our opponent doesn't, cool. This time our opponent doesn't have Hush. That's good. That's a good sign. That means that we're probably dead. Can I even stay alive? Nope. I feel better when you feel better. Well, that's too bad. Now we Get ready for a beat down. You can take nine. With hush and flash freeze. Wait, no, well let's see. Yeah, no. We can only Infinite Mind Splitter is too good. <laughs> wow. Outrageous. Turn five, kill, kill a bunch of your stuff, and play some more ramp cards, and then turn six, Mind Splitter. Yuck. All right. Oh, we're playing against Lee Sin. I guess this isn't the most anti Lee Sin deck, is it? No, we're not really. The last deck that we're playing, the Frozen Challengers, that was the anti Lee Sin deck. Um. This one, I guess, isn't as much. The first game was my fault. I needed to just, yeah, I just need to play mind, mind splitters. Need to keep playing those. Well, I should have won that first game. <clears throat> I would have done that. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Nope. We're gonna have lots of gems. Hopefully, they can only have ten cards in hand. Don't worry. 
I am here. I'm not panicking, you're panicking! Oh, you're all so cute! Dazzling. Go, floating crystals! Unyielding. This would be a good winter. So the Star Shepherd, we can heal the Star Shepherd, which pumps it up. We're all family here. So this game we do have infinite mind splitter, but it's still four turns away. Shepherd stars. Cool. That's a big one drop. I won't stand by. I feel better when you feel better. These eyes see all. Definitely want to wait for the gem to, for us to heal. Our units are already healed, so the gem doesn't help heal. Fade and be gone. Test me. Right, so we're gonna give um, plus and minus. Blessed by snow and stars. Should work there. We'll just heal one of these. We're all family here. All right, Starlet Seer should be buffing up something else now, also. Okay, another Starlet Seer. But we'll be able to get the Overwhelm and Regen. That'll be pretty nice. And it has, of course, Overwhelm Regen itself. Yeah, Troll Chant saving two units for one spell. Very convenient. Hope crystallizes. Preserve beauty and protect all life. How's my life total looking? 14? If I just take this. Go down to one. Alright. Down to one. We look after our own. So I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, you know, play Starlet Seer first. Like, that would help my Pale Cascade. That would also give me another 5-6 attacker. They have to have, like, Concussive Palm and also, you know, even if they have, like, they have to, like, have Concussive Palm, but then even then, then we Pale Cascade and kill their, their Taric. Dude, these one-drops have been sweet. These Star Shepherds? Some to one. Um, does this count as healing? And then it buffs them? Oh, an auspicious season. No, it doesn't count as healing. Darn. Oh, that still puts them down to one? Oh, because that one doesn't have overwhelm. What am I doing? I did the one that didn't have overwhelm. What a just complete waste of a card. I went with that because it's like the healing, and then yeah, that doesn't have overwhelm. Uh. They are beyond. Well, we'll see if they can do one damage to me. Very, very possible they can. Hopefully not. All they need is Lee Sin in the game, and they then I lose. That's that should have been a win. <laughs> I know, like two. 
That's my second, like, like these, that first game and this game were both awesome games, and I just lost both of them when I really should not have. I should have won both of these. Feel pretty bad about it. But this does likely mean no Lee Sin. So I'm... I'm worried about passing priority again, because then they can go, like, gem gem. And, I don't know, some, some other pump spell, and then I lose, like, Pale Cascade. Want to have the 8-8 block. Mystical levitation requires concentration. So, probably just able to do 8, so maybe we can stay alive, so no Lee Sin. We got lucky, no Lee Sin. Well, obviously they didn't have it after they played the, the three drop, though. That's definitely been the most impressive thing about our deck has been the... Uh, has been the one drop. That's been the most impressive part of our deck so far. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep this. See how this Mentor of the Stones does. So, playing against Zedly Sin, not... You know, this isn't like... I'd rather be playing the Frozen Challengers for this matchup, but this is what we got. We see through all! Hmm. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. River shape the land and give it life. River shape is good. Yeah, it's still probably worth it. Currents pull them down. Yeah, our one drop has been awesome. It. Yeah, not doing anything for a little bit here. Not until we can start healing stuff. Force is meaningless without skill. Five mana, I'd be feeling more comfortable. Okay, cool. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Do not fear the shrouded path. Do I want to be with that? Oh, an auspicious season. <laughs> Is there finally a competitive list that runs Shepherd? I don't know. Like, strike. Uh, we will reform. It's it's looked pretty good so far. This game, Currents it's not looking the best. Down. A gift from the river folk. Oh, that card's great. So both the non-champion three drops that they've had have looked very impressive. Mine has gotten us some gems. Blessed by snow and stars. This will be a good winter. It's a good winter. Trying to brew a Braum list that buffs Shepard with its regen and grants overwhelm card. Yeah. To mediocre success. Yeah, we got that one in here. Yep. Kind of doing that too. And yeah, you're going Braum. Yeah, Braum's a good champion because of the regen. We've been drawing... Usually when we've been drawing these Shepherds, hasn't been right away. It's been later, like after Starlet Seer has already buffed it up. So like, we'll play it as like a 2-5 to start with. And then, you know, it definitely looks a little better there. It's like the one mana 2-5 that, that has that ability and stuff. That's where we have been kind of seeing it more. I'll see this through. My lands need center your spirit. Season. This will be a good winter. Oh, an auspicious season. So hoping that we draw something really cool that's buffed up a whole bunch. 
from Starlet's Ear. <laughs> Alright, not quite. Let's see if Grandfather Rumul does anything. I will not hold back. I'll see this through. Their heart beats quicken. What? Oh, wrong card. This would be a good winter. Oh, an auspicious season. Let's see. Sebastian. Okay, so Bastion would just put Starlet Sierra at being a 3-4. Easy for Lee Sin to, to buff up over a Bastion. This makes it more difficult for Lee Sin to buff up over a, the Starlet Seer. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. Something's gonna be pretty big, whatever our next levelings. unit is. <laughs> it's a Star Shepherd? Alright. Well, it's a Star Shepherd. I will not hold back. He's glad to see you, Grandfather. Oh, hello, Evie. And you too, Oso. Don't play Grandfather Rumul. Don't get to play Grandfather Rumul too often. So I want to play it. Conflict I'm not too confident in us winning this game. But I definitely want to play Grandfather Rumul before the game's over. Yeah, I gotta give those hugs. <laughs> Come on, Gramps. <laughs> Hurt them. So certainly su assuming they have another hush. No, just attack with Zed without another hush. I know. Just grandfather Rumul. Didn't do anything wrong. King of Trolls coming through. Killed by Lee Sin. I'll see this through. Oh, you're all so cute. Quick attack strikes first, but then the other unit strikes after that. Conflict is all in the mind. So this is not a good game for Star Shepherd. Star Shepherd did not look so good. <laughs> but yeah, this our deck is not really built to beat Lee Sin. That was the previous deck that we're playing, the Frozen Challengers. That one's good against Lee Sin. This one, not so much. I will not hold back. My lands need me. Center your spirit. This would be a good winter. We can do that and prevent the overwhelm. Then we can do. Season. That keep keep it alive. No, the stars. Fly away while you can. I'll 
I'll see this through. Blessed by snow and stars. Battle Fury. I mean, yeah, it frees... Like, they have another Bastion now. <laughs> Flash Freeze wouldn't help. I'm not... My deck's not answering Lee Sin. <laughs> We're not. Right, Cabo, if I would've used... I mean, I would've had to use the Troll Chant before. I couldn't... I couldn't keep both Troll Chants and... Flash Freeze. So if you're saying that I should have used the Troll Champ before instead of the Flash Freeze for now, the Flash, then my Troll Champ would have been gone and the Flash Freeze would have eaten that thing. Okay. Mind Splitter would have been nice. I guess that's the card I needed, but uh, let's see. Another Lee Sin deck. Let's keep Mind Splitter. We have to survive till turn eight, though. That's not always the easiest. Is he here yet? We did not survive that last turn until turn eight. This, uh, this, awesome. this one, of course, they're going with the might and everything. We each hold the world within. We just want to play Grandfather Rumel. <laughs> Why are they being mean? Kicking our face. River shape the land and watch out life. once we get to turn eight watch out requires concentration yeah, play. watch out what form will the waters take that's what happens right you keep you keep an eight mana card because it's gonna be good in the late game and then you just draw two more to just completely punish you Cool, I wasn't attacking anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just wait till Big Brother shows up. Okay, we could we could maybe survive. Good chance a good one. Maybe survive. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic. But can you fluff? I could certainly try. No further. Down to four. A gift from the river folk. Crystallizes to protect all. Never submit. <clears throat> all right, we can buff these things up to be a little bit better blockers. I see every move. Uh, does he do this? Yuck. Hmm. Ouch. Concussive Palm would not have been bad. Will of Ionia is, is really, really bad. Bad news, that is. It's really bad news. Concussive Palm would have been just fine. This is what I, this is what I mean, Cabo. Will of Ionia was brutal. But Concussive Palm wouldn't have cared. Will of Ionia is very underrated. There's no reason for this 1-3 not to attack. Honor the mountain. So go with the blessing of Targon and the troll chant. We got that combination.
Dang. Bad. Come out so our hand's going to be filled with, with more gems, so we're, our next card is not, like, that we draw will not actually, we won't actually draw it. Let your instinct speak. Time to start playing Mind Splitters. We can stun Draven and the 3-2. Alright, Mind Splitter. You've been destroying us so far. Help us out. Breathe out. That would have been a good card for us to have. A one mana unit to be able to play. Will of Ionia is such a beating. Tell me earlier that Will of Ionia is unplayable. Completely wrecked us. All right, so we got to do some cool stuff. Unfortunately, there's some some cards that are really good against us that a lot of people are playing. Infinite Mind Splitter, very good against us. Hush, very good against us. Both of those were brutal. <laughs> we are a Hush Infinite Mind Splitter deck. Will of Ionia, it's great whenever your your game plan is to play super expensive stuff. Will of Ionia is great against that game plan. Um, and then, you know, Lee Sin's kind of like Will, Will of Ionia with the dragon kick and everything. But So yeah, we ran into some tough some tough stuff there. Tough stuff. Lots of infinite mind splitters against us. Game one, I should have won. I should have won that first game by just playing more mind splitters. I would have been fine. So it really should have been a 2-3 if I, if I would have won that first game. Um... Almost threw away the third game. Um, but yeah, it's still... You know, like, we're, we're taking Grandfather Rumul into Master's Rank. <laughs> we can't expect it to be perfect. There are going to be some cards that are good against us. Um, but yeah, it looked it looked pretty good. Um, definitely possible that, that maybe this is better if you just get rid of Mentor the Stones and Taric. Um, and, you know, just play Ramp. And just play more Ramp stuff and, and Avalanche and that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe that would be better, just, you know, ramping an infinite mind splitter and stuff like that. But, you know, wanted to do something different. Wanted to have our overwhelm, wanted to have, because for Grandfather Rumble, it is eight power overwhelm. And so we wanted that to matter and wanted to see if maybe we could buff up our Rumble even more for more overwhelm with the Starlet Seer. There was a few times, like, where we pumped up Starlet Seer stuff. It was always Star Shepherd. Every time that we drew a, a Starlet Seer unit that was buffed, it was Star Shepherd. I'm pretty sure it was, like, 4 for 4 or something like that, that every time we drew a buffed-up unit, uh, that's what the card that it was. I don't know if we even drew anything else that was buffed up. Uh, yeah, a refined, yeah, refined version of this list would probably not run Grandfather Rumble. This was, like, a more of a, a meme tier card here it <clears throat> um yes um but you know we're we're giving it a try all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video